Hi, welcome to the Daily Aviation Channel. I'm Mark, and the plane you see here is the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Initially built by General Dynamics, then Lockheed Martin, it is one of the most used fighter jets in the world. The F-16 can exceed Mach 2 and has low maintenance costs for a modern fighter jet. Since its inception, 4,500 units of this aircraft have been produced, and more than 25 countries around the world use it, a feat in the world of aviation. During the Vietnam War, the U.S. Air Force realized that its fighter jets were unsuited for close air combat. Too big, too heavy, and not very handy, the American fighters were, in fact, unable to confront the Soviet MiGs in dogfights. To solve this problem, on January 6, 1972, the U.S. Air Force launched the Lightweight Fighter Program and selected the proposals of General Dynamic and Northrop. The two manufacturers were asked to build two aircraft prototypes each. Northrop's aircraft prototype was named YF-17, and the General Dynamics prototype was called the YF-16. The first YF-16 came out of production at the end of 1973. And although the first YF-16 flight officially occurred on February 2, 1974, the plane actually flew nearly two weeks earlier. On January 20, 1974, the YF-16 test pilot was only conducting a high-speed taxi, but when he lost control, he made the unexpected decision to take his uncontrollable aircraft up to avoid an imminent crash on the runway. In January 1975, after several months of testing, the U.S. Air Force officially declared that it had selected the YF-16 instead of the Northrop YF-17. This marked the beginning of a long and successful story for the F-16, which after more than 40 years is still in service today with the U.S. Air Force and many other countries around the world. The F-16 is equipped with a Pratt & Whitney F-100 jet engine. Also known as the JTF-22, it was developed and built by Pratt & Whitney in the late 1960s and is actually one of the most sold jet engines in the world. More than 7,000 units were produced, including more than 5,000 that are still in service. It has also equipped the F-15 fighter jet since the 1970s. Designed with a built-in afterburner, the Pratt & Whitney F-100 provides enough power to the F-16 to exceed Mach 2. Its reliability is imperative, since the F-16 has only one Pratt & Whitney F-100 and must solely rely on this single engine to ensure its propulsion. To significantly improve its maneuverability in close air combat, the F-16 is the first fighter jet designed intentionally to be aerodynamically unstable. And to control this unsteady aerodynamic, the F-16 is also the first fighter jet to use fly-by-wire flight control a technology that replaces the conventional manual flight controls with an electronic interface. And to improve the visibility of the pilot, the F-16 is equipped with a frameless polycarbonate canopy that was made thicker in case of collision with birds. This choice allows the F-16 to be one of the modern fighter jets that offers the best visibility for its pilots, a precious help during close air combat. During its history, the F-16 has been produced in many versions. Among these different versions, there is the F-16XL, a modified version of the F-16 designed in the 1980s to respond to the U.S. Air Force Enhanced Tactical Fighter Program that was launched to replace the General Dynamics F-111. Equipped with a cranked arrow delta wing, this modified F-16 had a much higher lift and was able to carry more fuel, significantly increasing its autonomy. But after being eliminated in February 1984 against the F-15E Strike Eagle who won the U.S. Air Force tender, the F-16XL project was abandoned, and the prototypes were given to NASA for its aeronautical tests. Another notable version of the F-16 is the QF-16, an unmanned version intended to serve as a flying target for flight tests and specific training such as air combat maneuvering or air-to-air -air missile firing. Designed and built by Boeing, the unmanned QF-16 replaces the QF-4, which was based on the F-4 Phantom II, which was also created to serve as a flying target. The F-16 is also used by the famous U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds during impressive air shows. 
Created in 1953 in Arizona, the Thunderbirds are the official aerobatic patrol of the U.S. Air Force and have used the F-16 Fighting Falcon since 1983. They travel the U.S. performing aerobatics during air shows, and their presentation program is usually performed with six aircraft who display several maneuvers in tight formations or solo. The F-16 maneuverability is a key advantage for the squadron that accomplishes some of the most complex aerobatics in the world. And as they are part of the U.S. Air Force, the Thunderbirds can be called at any time to join a combat unit. It is estimated that the Thunderbird F-16 can be put into combat configuration in less than 72 hours. That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't done so yet, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. It's free. You can also watch my other videos, and if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon to help me produce more content. Thanks, and stay tuned for the next video.